Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we're making another classic Sichuan dish, Ma La Chuan Chuan Xiang. It's spicy and numbing hot pot skewers. You can look at it as the Chinese fondue. <laughs> so delicious and fun to eat. So let's get started. Let's start with the base. This dish is called Huo Guo Chuan Chuan, hot pot skewers. So the base is basically hot pot flavor base. You can get this in most Asian markets or you can buy it on Amazon. Today, I will show you how to make it from scratch. You will need one cup of dried Sichuan chilies, three tablespoons of Sichuan peppercorns. These two ingredients are the foundation of this recipe. Together, they are creating that spicy and numbing flavor. You can adjust the spicy level, but please don't skip them. If you don't eat spicy food, you can check out my non-spicy hot pot recipe instead. Soak them with 160 degrees Fahrenheit water for 40 minutes. Soaking will soften the spices, so it will be easier to cut later. Also, once the spices are rehydrated, it will have less chance to get burned in the wok. I just realized that I forgot to cut it open. If the chilies are whole, it takes forever to rehydrate. Not too late to do it now. You can remove the seeds if you prefer. 40 minutes later, it should be soft and pliable. If not, you can let it sit for a little longer. Let it go through a sieve. The water is really spicy. It will be your choice to decide if you want to keep it or not. It's too spicy for me, so I didn't use it. Put the rehydrated chilies and the citron peppercorns into a food processor. Follow up with a few fresh chilies. It's optional. I just like to add different levels of hotness in it. Throw in six to eight cloves of garlic and some ginger slices. Use the on and off mode to blend this into a chili paste. This is how it should look like. Set it aside. We will move on to the spices. One piece of star anise, one piece of bay leaf, three pieces of cloves, half teaspoon of black peppercorns, half teaspoon of white peppercorns, half teaspoon of fennel seeds, one teaspoon of cumin seeds. This is called shan nai or sha jiang in Chinese. I think the English name is Canferia galongo, also known as sand ginger. We just need about three pieces like that. One piece of black cardamom, break it apart. One piece of cinnamon stick, break it apart as well. We're gonna toss everything into a cast iron skillet. Toast them on low heat for a couple minutes to activate all the aroma. Blend everything into a fine powder. Put the spice blend into a bowl. Add one to two tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine. The purpose here is to wet the spice powder because it's really fine. You don't want it to be burned while cooking. Let it sit for 10 minutes. During this time, we'll heat up the oil. This is beef tallow. It is a little hard to find. You can ask your butcher for some beef fat, then render it yourself. Beef tallow is very heavy, so I mixed some vegetable oil to balance it out. Keep stirring it on low heat until it is fully melted. Add some scallion stalks along with the chili paste that we made. Give it a quick stir until it is well distributed. Add in the soaked spice mix. I forgot to mention that if you can't have alcohol, you can just soak it with the same amount of water, not a problem. Last, we will add about a quarter cup of Sichuan Douban Jiang, aka fermented board beans in chili oil. This is the soul of Sichuan cuisine. I'll put the Amazon link in the description. You can check it out if needed. Mix it in and keep stirring on medium-low heat non-stop until most of the moisture is evaporated. This would take about 15 minutes. The spices is very easy to stick to the bottom, so don't go away and don't use high heat. Take out the soft scallions, 
and let it cool. The amount I gave is enough to make two of this hot pot skewer recipe. You can double or triple the base and freeze it. So next time you want to make hot pot or hot pot skewers, you don't need to go through all this work. Now let's talk about the skewers and the ingredients. One thing that I always do is to boil the bamboo skewers for 10 minutes. This will wash off the chemical that the factory put on to against mold and mildew. Look at this. No matter what that is, I don't want it to be in my food. Switch the upside down and keep boiling. Take it out. Put the ingredients onto the skewers. Do not put too much. Make sure you measure the depth of your pot and imagine the level of the liquid. You want the ingredients to be below the liquid level or else it won't get cooked. Besides that, there is no other rules of what to do here. Just pick whatever ingredients you like. I will quickly go through what I use. This is fish cake. It's a Korean brand, but it is actually popular in China too. We call it fish tofu. It looks like tofu, it has the soft silky tofu texture, but it gives you the taste of fried fish. Really delicious. When you make hot pot skewers, you got to have some meatballs. What I'm using today is fish balls Fujian style. Check the frozen section in your local oriental store. If you want to try other types, I do have recipes for beef and shrimp balls. I'll put the video links in the description. Here is some squid that I scored and beef tripe, my favorite animal organ. Let me show you an interesting way to skewer the meat. I got some really thin sliced beef, cut it into long pieces, grab a bunch of cilantro, use the beef slices to wrap it. If you don't like cilantro, you can use other herbs like Chinese chives, scallions, fennel, basil, even some vegetables like asparagus, spinach will be perfect as well. Here are some cabbage, mushrooms, and broccoli. The hot pot base is strong and tangy. Vegetables helps to balance the meal. Get your wok ready, add some cooking oil along with some garlic cloves, some ginger slices, some scallion stalks, six to eight pieces of dried chilies and two teaspoons of citron peppercorns. All these ingredients we already used in the base, so they are optional. I use them is for the extra flavor and the presentation. The scallion and the whole chilies will float on top of the broth. That will make the hot pot look nicer. Just stir them for a couple minutes. This is the base that we made. Just add it to the wok, stir it on low heat and melt it completely. Pour in some chicken stock. I use store-bought stock to save some time. Cover it and bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, add one and a half tablespoon of salt, one and a half tablespoon of sugar. Give a quick stir and taste to adjust the flavor. I usually make it saltier than my normal taste because most of the ingredients we put on the skewers don't have salt. Pour the soup into a hot pot container. Rinse the wok with some water so you don't waste any flavor. Now you can enjoy. I usually add the ingredients that need some time to cook through first, such as fish cake, meatballs, mushrooms, once it comes to a boil, you can add the ingredients that cook fast, such as shrimp, squid, beef slices, tripe. In China, having a beer in the bar is not everybody's main choice to hang out. Hot pot is everyone's favorite. This is like a different version of hot pot. You use the skewers instead of chopsticks, much more healthier and convenient. You still get the sharing experience and feel the enthusiasm of how Chinese people built their relationships. I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment, let me know how it goes. As always, you can click the link in the description and find the printable recipe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!